Hey guys, and welcome to another uh, video presentation. Um, this one's going to be about the Fibaro alarm system. Now, before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing, who's liking my videos. Um, grateful for all the donations, and that's what keeps everything going properly. So, uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And if you found these videos useful and helpful, then please uh, feel free to make a donation. Um, keeps everything going. Uh, hopefully then I can start bringing you more videos with more new items. Um, so now, let's get down to business. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the Fibaro alarm. Uh, there was a request a while back, but I've uh, just been a little bit busy with work. So uh, now that I've uh, got a couple of days off, I thought I'll get this video done um, in the downtime. So, the Fibaro alarm on this one is a bit better than uh, what we had in the Home Centre 2. And what we can do is we can create, it's very easy to create to be honest. It's uh, all made in uh, block scenes using the alarm panel. And what we'll do is literally something like this. So, we're on our home screen. We'll click on um, settings, click on alarm. So here we have the alarm panel. So we've got the alarm zones and alarm scenes. So at the moment we've got nothing. So what we'll do is we'll click on add zone and uh, we're going to create a zone. So I'm just going to do a straightforward one. So we'll call this the night alarm. Name it night alarm and then we just choose all the sensors so at the moment it lists all the devices which are based on uh, sensor based so things like um, motion sensors um, universal binary sensors the door or window sensors etc uh, sensitive strips so we choose um, the different rooms so let's just choose all of them so my downstairs alarm so let's just choose that one as well okay I'm not going to bother with that one because that's just an actual sensor on a, a device and I'm going to hit save so that's the night alarm we are going to create an exit delay which means that the sensors won't arm for whatever time I specify so 30 seconds so that's it that's my night alarm created now what we're going to do is we're going to create two scenes so click on alarm scenes we're going to create add alarm so first thing we're going to do is um, how we're going to arm the alarm so alarm on and let's change this to security so that means it's all in nicely hit save and we're just going to get rid of that and we're just going to say time once so a time in the past any time in the past because um, we don't want this to trigger automatically so all that means is whenever I press the play icon or whenever you press the button on your phone it executes the scene so it will not automatically run the scene and on the right we'll then click on panels alarm drag it in here and then we'll say night alarm um, you've noticed here there's a drop down we had whole house now because we only had one alarm zone created i.e. the night alarm we could really th theoretically we could click on any of these two but I always suggest clicking on the night alarm to be more specific because later on if you do decide to create another zone it's you don't have to go back and change all your scenes so alarm on we're going to arm the night alarm let's hit save That's saved. Now we'll go back to scenes, back to alarm, uh, alarm scenes, and we're going to create another one. And this one is alarm off. Again, let's do that there. Security, save. And again, we're going to uncheck that 
time in the past. And another time. And this time we're going to again put alarm off. So again it'll be night alarm, disarm. Actually, I would always suggest doing the whole house with the disarm because it doesn't matter how many alarm modes you have, you only need one alarm off scene. So you can just do the whole house and then hit save. Let's go back to the scenes. So if I click on climate, uh, security, so here's my alarm on and here's my alarm off. So these are the two scenes. Now they're not in the alarm panel and that's probably because we didn't use the alarm panel trigger. That's probably why it doesn't it won't appear in the alarm panel. So don't know why that is. So now we've got a way of turning the alarm on and we have a way of turning the alarm off. That's perfectly set. Now what we want to do is we want to create um, a trigger. Uh, sorry, a notification. Let's do a notification first. So we click add scene and block and this is going to be night actually let's cancel that on the alarm on we can add another block for notification so we put the push here and we select a user and the username is Yorkshire Automation oops Yorkshire Automation and we'll just say night alarm on so we've done it all in one so when I turn the alarm on it arms the night alarm so there's a 30 second delay then it sends me a notification as well at the same time say that we've armed the night alarm so let's hit save on that and now let's do it again but this time for alarm off so let's just go back into that and click on notification and do push Here's the option of having to um, send emails as well if you wanted to send emails. So all you would do is click on the email block, put it into there and then just choose the email uh, as well. So, so Yorkshire Automation and Alarm off. So that's if you wanted to send a push and an email notification and you just add that to there. If you wanted to send it to another user, well, you just do the same again and add it, another block scene, select a second user and continue to however number of users that you wish to add. So let's hit save. So, we've done alarm on, we've notified ourselves. We've got the alarm off and we've notified ourselves. Now, we need to know what happens when the alarm is breached and for that is just another scene so click on scene block and uh, we'll, we'll call this uh, night activation put this into security hit save now what we'll do is again this time it's an alarm panel as our trigger and we're going to choose the night alarm um, is alarm breached so night alarm is alarm breached so that's basically any of my sensors that I created in the night alarm if somebody walks in after that 30 second initial period what do I want it to do so let's start with activating a siren so I have my internal siren in the hallway and we'll just turn it on. Then we will have a notification. So it's again, it's a user and select me and we'll say night activated or night alarm activated. Um, if I wanted to add an email or another user, I would just drag and drop again. And let's say we want to turn the um, device off automatically after, say, five minutes. So let's put this 
signal, oh sorry, not that. We need to add delay. So let's put the delay one in. And we'll set the delay to say five minutes. And then we will add the device inside here. So that's after the delay time. And it's hallway, internal siren, turn off. And that's it. So turn on the siren, send me a notification, and then after five minutes, turn the siren off if I haven't already disarmed the alarm. So that is then the alarm activation. Now, I've also just thought of something else. If we decide to turn the alarm off before the five minutes are over, we need to. We don't want the siren to carry on for another, you know, for the five minutes. So what I'll do is click on save, go back to the alarm off scene, and we're going to add in here the siren off. Now. When, the, when we're disarming the whole other house, when the alarm is already activated and we need to disarm the alarm, um, if the alarm was already running, we want to turn the siren off. We don't want to wait that delay time. So that's why we're going to put that in here. So sorry, it's a bit... Uh, this Sometimes this happens when you're thinking too quickly. So hit save there. And now we have that scene. So we're going to talk through this again. Let's click on security. So we press this button, turn the alarm on, sensors are armed after 30 seconds and we receive a notification. Alarm then gets activated and we then receive a notification, the siren activates. If we don't do anything, it'll switch off the siren automatically after five minutes. If, if we turn the alarm off anyway, in between, It'll not only disarm all the sensors, it will give me a notification and also it will turn off the siren if it's running. And that is your simple alarm system. In the night activation, if you wanted to add more items such as turning on a light, opening a blind, all you would do is you would drag your single device icons and just create a list and just keep adding to the list over here. Nice and straightforward, um, quick video, um, hope it was straightforward, any questions, any comments, please don't hesitate to leave them in the section below, and uh, until next uh, video, uh, we'll see you, uh, happy coding, bye for now.